Hello, this is Doretta, and I'm going to be showing you today how to use a Google add-on called Orange Slice Rubric, and it is a really um, good way to grade things um, using a rubric, and it kind of leads you through the process. So for starters, you'll have to go to Add-ons and Get Add-ons, and you're going to search orange slice teacher rubric and it will come up you want the teacher one not the student one since I've already added it I don't have to but you would click plus and you would add it so then in your add-ons you will see orange slice is the one that we're going to be using but it's already there and then you would score so then the next thing you do is you're going to create your rubric and I'm just going to control C copy this for now. Um, but in the rubric, it's your standard type of rubric. The only things you have to make certain in your table are that in the upper left hand cell, it says rubric categories. And then across the top, you're going to put your various um, domains and make sure that your domains have a comma space and then the point value. So advanced comma space four, proficient comma space three, and so on. So now I've copied this rubric and I will go to a lab report. I took one of my students lab reports and removed their name. And what you need to do to use the tool is you can copy the rubric in at the beginning of the report. I tend to copy them in at the end after the conclusions, just because I think that's a good place to put them. So copying in the rubric and there it is. So now my rubric is in and I'm going to go up here to add-ons and I'm going to say score rubric and this initiates the process. So now what we're going to be doing is an analysis and I'm going to put in the total points for this rubric which happens to be 40 points and then it is showing you here that everything is based on zero to four points. I like to click right here on grades and I put in feedback. That will give me a little box for each category to put in some comments as I'm grading. So then you just click finished. And now along the side here, you see I'm ready to begin. So for format sequence, I go up to the top and I'm looking and I'm seeing that um, in this case, everything is where it should be. So the student is going to get a four for that. Is there a clear step-by-step -step description that misses no points? I'm going to put that in. At this point, um, data format, I'm going to look here and I could say, for instance, um, where are the units? So if I were to put in, sorry about that, um, where are the units if they were missing, for instance, and again, I would put in a three there. The student had their units, but just for the sake of argument, and then go down and it's leading me to data manipulation. So now I'm going to look at her data manipulation and I see that she has put in all of her information. So again, includes her calculations, etc. So kind of running through all of the different parts of this. And now I'm up to the conclusion. So I'm going to put um, some comments in here. Um, is it logical? Um, put in a comment like um, the conclusions should include a detailed Sorry. So just a comment and then, um, oops, sorry, didn't spell that right, fixing. And then here, um, just continuing on. So now it's all done and in the end I could write another comment, good job, or whatever. And now you are ready to process the grade. And it just takes a minute or two. 
So now you'll see that in the rubric, each of the domains that they were graded in are highlighted for them. So they see how they did in each area. And then up at the top, they get a summary. So in this particular case, it was 35 points, which is an 88%. The summary comment is there. Any comments that I made along the way are also there, and it always tells them how many points are possible. So um, I have found this to be a really good tool that allows me to uh, whip through grading lab reports much faster than I ever have before. I'm not sure if it's because it helps you to focus as you're doing it, um, and I am in the process of updating all of my rubrics uh, to this orange slice um, format so that I can utilize it as much as possible. I hope this was helpful for you folks, and if you have any questions, um, please come see me and ask. Thank you.